Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and this is an in-depth tutorial, which is a weekly series I do for Minecraft on the consoles, but it applies to everything else as well, where I go really in-depth to a particular subject, and then tell you all the statistics and the fun facts about it, that help you make informed decisions and whatnot about it. So today we're going to be covering the tools in Minecraft, Xbox 60, PS3, and every other edition, and uh, basically these tools are the four tools you're seeing here, and the hoe. So, uh, these are because they're all made from the same materials, and they follow a lot of the same rules. There are other tools that I might cover in a future episode, but they're all very different they're the shears they're the bow they're the fishing rod they're all very very different and uh, I want to talk about the ones that actually have a common theme today that's why we're talking about tools so let's start that with the facts you probably know already and then we'll move into the more technical stuff so yeah let's start with uh, the different types of tools their durability and whatnot so you start with the wooden tool which is the lowest of the low that you can make as soon as you spawn because you just chop down a tree you make the sticks then you make the thing and it's easy, really easy to make and it has just 60 uses to make up for that so this is the stone pickaxe, the stone axe, the stone shovel, uh, sorry, the wooden shovel and the uh, wooden pickaxe sword. They all have the exact same number of durability and this is true for all of them. Uh, you can, you know, you can chop down 60 trees or you can shovel 60 pieces of dirt, you can hit 60 enemies, so on and so forth. And yeah, that's how that works. So uh, then there's the stone tools, which require you to go underground, get some stone first. And in exchange for that, you get 132 uses, more than double than the wooden pickaxe and whatnot out of them because you have to go through more effort. So uh, that you get 132 different uses of it. For the stone axe, stone shovel, you get the point by now. Uh, next up there is the iron tools. These require iron ore to be got as well as some form of smelting ingredient uh, and in exchange for the more effort you go through there, again you get 251 uses out of the iron tools, whether it be an axe, blah 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 blah. And yeah, that's why uh, they're pretty much the best tool you can get that are easy enough to get because the next tool on requires diamonds which are very rare and uh, in exchange for the fact that you use one of the rarest materials in the game, uh, you get a 1,000 1,562 uses out of them. That is a massive amount. That's more than six times uh, the amount you get from iron, which if you obviously double all of this, that means it's roughly 24 times what you get from... Um the uh, the wooden pickaxe. So if you have uh, sorry the wooden you know everything. So if you have a wooden any form of tool, you can actually uh, 24 of those in your inventory. They will actually be expended before your diamond uh, tool is, which is kind of funny, uh, assuming you use them equally. So that's just a little fun fact. So yeah, uh, those those are how the different types of durability. That's how much each one has. Oh, I haven't mentioned gold yet. You might you might notice because gold actually has 33 uses, uh, which is kind of funny because gold is a pretty rare or not quite as rare as diamonds uh, because it has different uses. They'll talk about later. Most people just assume it's garbage, but it does actually have quite a few uses. It's just a very niche one compared to all the other ones. So yeah, uh, what actually takes up durability then? So when you mine any form of block with any uh, tool, so if I mine uh, this dirt with a shovel, it's going to take up a durability. If I mine uh, this dirt with a pickaxe, it's going to take up the same amount of durability, even if it's going slower, uh, at just one durability use per. So you can mine 33 of these with a gold pickaxe, you can mine 33 of them with a diamond pickaxe or a diamond shovel, whatever it takes, you can do that. This is true for these three tools. However, it's worth saying it takes up two uses if you're going to hit an enemy with them. So, I'll just show you with a zombie right now. Uh, it actually takes up two uses every time you do this. And as you can see, it just drains the pickaxe really fast if you're not uh, pacing it correctly. Uh, even if you hit the enemy and it doesn't do damage, it still takes up some of the uses. And then your tools just go missing very quickly like that. So... <laughs> That was ridiculously quickly, as you can see. So that's why gold tools are not recommended for combat. In fact, all tools aren't recommended for combat, uh, combat unless you ne really need to use them, but gold tools even less so. Both of those tools disappeared on one zombie, even though it was on fire. So next up, let's talk about um, the damage stuff done. Or also, just quickly, uh, swords are actually the opposite of the other tools, where if you hit an enemy, it takes up one use, and if you mine any block, even the blocks that they're better at mining, like the cobweb, it will actually take up two durability uses. So, you know, just worth saying, try to stick to mining with these tools, or you know, breaking blocks with these tools, and hurting blocks with these, or things with these. Uh, next up, let's talk about the damages that each thing does, because as I mentioned, you can hit stuff with these tools, why would you if it takes up two durability? Uh, basically, if you have limited, in, if, you, you know, if you only have like three things in your inventory, like right now I don't have a sword, uh, but there's a big angry mob, then if you have an axe on you, these are the tools I recommend using, because a stone axe is the same as a wooden sword, an iron axe is the same as a stone sword, and a diamond axe is the same as an iron sword, roughly anyway. Uh, and then with a pickaxe, it's the next tool down, so an iron pickaxe is only the same as a wooden sword or a stone axe, uh, and a diamond pickaxe is only the same as a, a stone sword. And then shovels are even worse, and really I don't recommend ever using these, because a diamond shovel, the best shovel you can get, is only on par with a wood uh, sword. So I'll quickly show you this with some proof. Uh, so let's just spawn in a zombie. One, two, three, four, five, six hits to kill one of the thing. I'll just show you again. It's going to be one, two, three, 
four, five, six hits with a shovel. And one more time with the iron pickaxe, it's true, it's true. Three, four, five, six with the iron pickaxe. So it takes six hits to kill with any of these tools. I'll show you with the axe too, but I'm sure you get the point by now. Uh, axes are powerful tools to be used if you don't have a sword. But reality, you should six tools wherever possible. So... Next, let's talk about blocks being mined by different tools. So, uh, basically, every tool is best at mining a certain block. Even the sword, uh, it's it's very niche compared to the other ones. But basically, uh, it's really simple. You, I don't really have to breathe them out to you because they're pretty simple, basic. Uh, any block that's dirt-based, so whether that be clay, whether that be dirt, whether that be mycelium, anything like that is going to be mined fast with a shovel, and it's going to be an ideal use for a shovel. Uh, next up is a pickaxe, uh, an axe, which again, quite simple. Anything that's wood-based, so wood planks, uh, wood just wood trapdoors, wooden pressure plates, anything made from wood will be mined faster with an axe. And then pickaxe, it's going to be any form of ore based thing or stone based thing and a whole bunch of other things. I think pickaxes have the most uses as far as breaking blocks goes. However, one interesting thing about the pickaxes is different types of pickaxes can mine different blocks. This isn't true for any other type of thing and uh, I just want to quickly point it out. So let's get some gold carrots out and eat while we do this. So. Basically, uh, the uh, the wooden pickaxe can mine the fewest number of blocks, and you can you can get stone to get to the next pickaxe, but you can't mine iron, and that's you know interesting enough. So you need the stone pickaxe to mine iron ore, which is of course required for that, as well as iron blocks and a few other weird blocks like that. Then you need the iron pickaxe if you can mine any form of like. Uh, you know, diamond blocks, gold blocks, uh, emerald blocks. If you want to mine the higher end blocks, you're going to need an iron pickaxe. Uh, and then finally, uh, to mine diamond ore, which you can then use for the diamond pickaxe, which can only mine one exclusive block, which is the... Um the obsidian block, of course, uh, and the only thing that will actually give you obsidian from it is a diamond pickaxe. So if you want to mine and actually get obsidian from your obsidian, you have to use a diamond pickaxe. On top of that, it takes 250 seconds to mine it with your fist versus nine of a diamond pickaxe. So if you want to get rid of obsidian, probably best just to use a diamond pickaxe. So yeah, there's your fun fact about the pickaxes. They're different to the other tools. They're the only tools that have different blocks mined by each one. Uh, so next up, let's talk about enchantments because enchantments, uh, I didn't end up sure on this, so I won't go too in-depth to it, but basically um, you do get different levels of enchantability based on which tool you have. Um, I recommend checking out this tutorial if you don't understand what I mean by that. Uh, it was from last week. But basically, the uh, stone tool is the least enchantable of all the uh, tool types. So if you have a stone axe, it's going to be less likely to get the rare enchantments than your diamond axe. Uh, and then the diamond axe is the next one, which is almost double the enchantability of the stone, but still not a whole bunch compared to the other ones. Then you've got the iron and the uh, this wooden, which are basically on par with each other. The wood is slightly higher than the iron. Uh, so if you want a rare enchantment and you don't care that much about durability, so if it's just fortune or something, where really you could get away with iron, you might want to enchant you know, on an iron pickaxe because you get that outfit uh, or an iron axe or whatever you want it on. Uh, and yeah, that's just throwing that one out there. And then finally, you might have noticed the gold one is actually the highest uh, level of enchantability for any tool because uh, you're so likely to get rare enchantments on it because it gives you a massive boost to the enchantment level, uh, which means that if you want to get the two rarest enchantments in the game, or the two hardest to get ones, a sharpness 5 and efficiency 5. The only way to do it is to you actually use a um, golden tool. So you need to use a um, you know a golden pickaxe, a golden axe, or a golden shovel if you want to get efficiency 5. And if you want to get sharpness 5, you have to use a golden sword. So efficiency 5 is actually a sh an enchantment worth using because if you need to mine just a few blocks as fast as possible, then putting it on a shovel, a pickaxe, uh, an axe, or a... Um, or a, a pickaxe actually makes sense because these blocks do mine blocks faster than other blocks. Uh, so a gold pickaxe, for instance, will mine uh, stone that tiny bit fast. I think it's like 0 0.05 seconds faster than diamond. Uh, it'll mine never at that same pace. And a few blocks like uh, the uh, ender table and the uh, enchantment test, uh, sorry, not the enchantment chest, the ender uh, chest and the enchantment table are actually mined faster by using a gold pickaxe. I already wasted mine, uh, but it's actually mined faster with a gold pickaxe than with a diamond pickaxe which is interesting, but like a significant amount, like a second and a half. So yeah, if you just want to have a quick way to mine your ender chest and just take it with you, it might be worth doing that. Uh, obviously you need silk touch to effectively do it, but because you get the better charmants, it's better for that. So um, why do gold tools have use? One, because they're just, they're better technically, even if they have less uses. So if you need them just for a little bit of time uh, and you have lots of gold anyway, and you don't want enchanted car so gold carrots, gold apples, enchanted gold apples, then it might be worth just making some gold tools to take with you for 30 uses. Just be done with them, then go back to your diamond. Uh, for instance, my big one is like if you want to have like a PvP encounter with someone, you don't want them to take your diamond tools. You you have a fight to the death, like in my arena from my fight building ideas video, uh, which is over there somewhere. 
then you might want to take golden tools with you because they're gonna do uh you know, they're gonna mine blocks faster and if that's part of the game then it might be worth doing so yeah just bear that in mind gold tools have a little bit of use in reality diamond has the most and iron is probably the in-between point for enchantability and durability uh but gold tools do have use and yeah that's, let's just throw that one out there so um next let's talk about a few other specific things so Wood has a very specific use because you can actually use it in furnaces now as of the latest update and although it seems a little pointless because it only gives you 1.5 um smelts so you need two uh, wooden tools to get three smelts out of something uh, then it's actually kind of worth using if wood is really rare uh, to you so let's just put our wooden pickaxe in there now uh, it, might, it might be worth doing if wood is really rare to you in a weird challenge sheet or something just throwing it out there wood tools might have a use to you too because they're also very enchantable so you can try and enchant them if it doesn't go your way put them in a furnace maybe I don't know but they have a use after they've gone down to one durability unlike everything else and uh, yeah that's just something to bear in mind so finally let's talk about hose then because I said I talked about them but I haven't mentioned them at all. Uh, basically hose follow a few basic rules but a lot of the rules just aren't followed. So uh, there's no actual difference as far as the speed between all of the different hoes and they can't be enchanted anyway. So the wooden hoe is the same as the diamond hoe. I'm just looking at the pickaxes but yeah the wooden hoe is the same as the diamond hoe as far as how fast it does this. Uh, because this is all the hoe does. Uh, and interesting enough uh, the hoes all have the same number of durability uses as these ones. So a wooden hoe only has 60 uh, I need to kill this for something real. Uh, a wooden hoe only has 60 um, little, uh, I guess what was it called, tilling uh, off the land. A diamond one has 1,562. In reality, I recommend using the iron one because it's not worth your diamonds for something that has no speed increase and has no damage towards it. However, one thing I will say, because some blocks are faster mined with the fist, uh, like the pistons, uh, like cactuses, etc., it might actually be worth pointing out that this is a good block to use if you want like something to act as your fist, even though you have a full inventory. Like, just keep one of these out and it kind of works like this because it's not used up when you hit stuff it's not used up when you break stuff it's only used up when you do this so uh, that's the use for the hoe in my opinion it's kind of weird uh, but it counts as a tool so I have to cover it in this video so <laughs> uh, yeah I, I, that's everything you need to know about the hoe it's quite simple uh, and yeah, let's talk about the conclusion from this then. So, as you probably guessed from the end of this, diamond tools are very useful still. They're not just blown away by something else. However, gold tools do have their use. They're, they're very enchantable, and they mine blocks faster. Combine those two with, you know, a weird situation, and you might just have the perfect use for a uh, gold tool. As well as that, iron tools do have the edges for enchantability. If you just want a rare enchantment and you don't intend to use it often, like Fortune Free, like Silk Touch, it might be worth just enchanting some iron stuff. Uh, and yeah, hopefully that that's everything you need to know about the tools in Minecraft, Xbox 60, and PS3. If you have any ideas for future, in uh, you know, in-depth tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking of doing farming, so like, you know, how you farm stuff, the light levels you need, etc. Um, I think that was a suggestion from last week. If you have any better ideas, let me know though, because I'm not entirely in love with the idea. Uh, but yeah, if you have any ideas for next week's in-depth tutorial, let me know. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it's been 30 minutes. Whoa, that's a lot to talk about these tools. Also, I hope you like my picks a lot. I I did these just for this video. Like, I put a lot of effort into these in-depth tutorials. So if you made it to this point and you really like them, I'd appreciate a like of some form or a share even would be better. Uh, or if you can't do with those things, uh, what I'd really appreciate is if you, I have Amazon links in the description, both the UK and the US. If you need to buy any Microsoft points, if you need to buy gold membership, just buy it by clicking my Amazon Prime links and then just uh, navigating through the website from there. It gives me a little percent of the purchase and it really helps me out. So regardless of what you do, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to keep keeping this up and uh, check out one of these other two videos on screen if you want to see more and goodbye.